Hi, I'm Robert Riggs. This is Brad Vesakin with a Clarity Clip, and we've been MIA out at the Monterey Car Week at the Pebble Beach Concord d'Elegance, which is the Super Bowl of international high-end collecting. They're the most amazing cars in the world that you have to be invited. 202 cars from 16 countries, yeah, including amazing. Elvis BMW. Elvis's and BMW he drove around in Europe. In the Army in Germany, yeah, yeah sure did. Yeah, it was a pretty interesting event. One of the things we noticed too that was pretty unique was we saw all these film crews. Like these weren't these weren't guys on their cell phones. These were three, four hundred thousand dollar you know camera groups with mics and directors and lighting yeah. and everything else. What were they doing? Well, they'd been hired by many of the owners of these cars to do their own personal documentaries. But you know what? No social, nothing online. <laughs> so who will ever see it? I guess they're going to sit in their. Uh, their theater room in their home and watch now. I mean, these are things you really want to get out there and share. And the benefit to telling the story around cars, and we were there to do it for a client, is that uh, it's an icebreaker for new business. Our client goes to meetings, we run all kinds of social channels, and when he goes to business meetings with a room full of 125 yep. prospects, he doesn't need an introduction. The first thing they want to know is about that car collection. Yeah. Hey, we've been seeing your car yeah. videos online and in Facebook. Yeah. So uh, people are oft, often, well, what's the ROI of social media? Can you put a value on that? That you walk into a room full of business prospects and, yep. and they feel like they already know you, they already have a connection. That's what social does if you will focus on that that passion. It's all about that connection. It's all about making a yeah. CEO or an owner of a business or an executive manager, a director, whatever it might be. It's all about making them real. Um, you know, you see a card or you see a LinkedIn profile. It's all kind of statusy. It's all look at my accomplishments. Look what I've done. Yeah. Oh, and then oh, by the way, and I also I'm also passionate about. 45 records, you know, old 45 yeah. records, or I'm really yeah. passionate about art or cowboy yeah. art or whatever it is, it makes you real and it makes a connection like, hey, Robert, I like that too. We already have something in connection. Mm -hmm. We already have something in common. So now I go into a business meeting with you and I can say, oh. hey, tell me about that one piece of art oh. that you have in your, that I saw on your Facebook. Tell me about it. Exactly. And so, and one of the other values is reputation management. And yep. everybody these days needs to be concerned about how they appear in Google search results because bad things happen, people say bad things about you, and if you've loaded that up with positive stuff about yourself, uh, you're going to win. And one of the nice things about our client, and you can do with this anyone else, around these kind of passionate subjects, we're on all the social channels and it just stacks up mm -hmm. on search returns for yep. him. That's why when he goes to give a business presentation, people ask. Yeah, exactly. And it's and it's the way you do it. It's smart about how you do it. You can't just go, hey, if I just start putting some stuff out, I'll rank in Google. There's some tricks of the trade that, that we've kind of not mastered because I hate that word. That's not what we do. We're not gurus and we're not ninjas, but we've tested it. We've yeah. done a, the, the old Google of hard knocks. Yeah, we're old you school. You know, hard knocks Google, and we've kind of figured out this stuff. So there are some little tricks of the trade that you need to do too to, to be sure those are doing it and you're doing it the right way. So Well, and you, you have to have good content. Yeah. You've got to have content that that potential audience or our general audience is going to find interesting. Yeah, and you have to know your audience, which is the critical. Really we always talk about our audience speak. So we knew, you know, it's very interesting that on Twitter, you know, our particular client has a total different audience than he does on Facebook. For example, he has a Ferrari, a 2005 Ferrari, Super America. There's only 500 of them made. This is a premier Ferrari from that era. They love it on Twitter. They're like, it's a Ferrari on Facebook. Yeah, it's just but you put day. something else up about a yeah. 1948 Delahaye or a 1956 AC Roadster, and they're like, "Whoa, this is this is the creme de la creme. This is awesome." So you have to know that too, so that you're poking that what I always call poking the bear or pushing yeah. the button, right, to ignite that passion within your fan base. Right. All right, takeaway of this clip. The takeaway is is there's a multiple things you can use with events, uh, particular passions or particular. Uh, hobbies and interest of leaders within your company or your business to really drive home the message of the business and to make connections beyond, hey, I'm here trying to sell you something. And boy, our product sure is great. Yeah. Man, make it real. Make, make that person that's out there calling on those people real. That's the Clarity Clip of the Week. Have a good one, guys. Thanks.